Welcome to Eternal Mena, the daily devotional broadcast of Grace Gospel Church. Today we are going to look at Psalm 30 and verse 5. This is one verse that is quoted very frequently when someone is going through a time of sorrow. And rightly so. So let's look at this verse. For his anger lasts only a moment, but his favor lasts a lifetime. Weeping may stay for the night, but rejoicing comes in the morning. Now, you have a series of contrasts in this one verse. The anger of God is contrasted with the favor of God. Momentary is contrasted with a lifetime favor that lasts a lifetime. Sadness is contrasted with rejoicing. Night is contrasted with mourning. So can you see? A lot of contrast in this one verse. So God's anger. God's anger simply means God, God's correction, God's discipline. It's momentary. It's to get us back on track. And who of us doesn't need God's discipline? We are sinners. We so easily go off track. And God, because he loves us so much, he has to discipline us. He has to spank us so that we get back on track. We walk in the narrow path. But this discipline of God is not permanent. It is just for the moment. Oh, but then God's favor that's going to last a lifetime. God's favor, God's approval, God's smile of approval will be upon us all the time for the whole of our life. Weeping. Weeping is a very vital part of life. None of us are going to be exempt from weeping. We are all going to weep for a wide variety of reasons. And this weeping, again, is only for a night time. And David had many a night where he uh, could uh, not sleep and he shed copious tears. And uh, David is saying from experience, oh, but that weeping was only just for a night. Now, by night here, we are not limiting it to just maybe six hours or seven hours. But that period of darkness, that period of depression, God in his mercy limits it. Uh, so that uh, we uh, emerge out of the tunnel, as it were, into God's glorious light. So, weeping is brief, but joy comes in the morning. This word for rejoicing is actually the word sh a joyful shout. Okay, this uh, season of weeping and depression is going to give way to joyful shouting why in the morning we are going to experience a new God's mercies. His mercies are new every morning. Right now, you may be going through a time of darkness in your life, a time of weeping in your life. I have been through it for the past year, and it's not easy. It's very painful. But we remind ourselves that this weeping is temporary. And there is going to break forth the glorious morning when we are going to taste God's mercies anew. God is slow to anger, but swift to save. I want you to remember that. God is slow to anger, but uh, swift to save. God's correction is just for a moment, but his grace abides forever. So here we see in this one verse, God both as judge, but God also as our heavenly father. God as the judge is going to discipline us, but God as our heavenly father is going to comfort us, sustain us. He's going to wipe our tears and that we will all see that morning that we are anticipating when the clouds break free and we see the sun shining in all its glory. 
May God give you grace today as you go through a night season of weeping to learn from it, to draw close to the Lord. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted and then to experience God's healing grace in the midst of what you go through. Use this verse, Psalm 30 and verse 5, in the way we have explained it to you today, to comfort somebody. Maybe you can send this recording to someone who is hurting today so that they can be encouraged that the night of weeping is limited, but uh, God's uh, morning is unlimited and glorious. God bless you. Have a wonderful weekend. And we'll see you again, God willing, next week. God bless. For more videos like this, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Grace Gospel English Church Toronto. Thank you.